Hello, daily request videos, daily request videos. So, Martin R. Cruz goes, um, Hi Kyle, how are you? So what are some of your favorite, I'm good, thank you. What are your favorite types of fruit and why? For me it's mostly apples, bananas, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. Thank you and very have a nice day. Um, yeah, uh, fruits is good. Um, uh, um, um, yeah, those are some of my favorite fruits as well. As far as apples go, um, apple juice is my favorite. Whenever I and I almost never get it. It's like expensive. I think I'll sh I should get some more. But whenever I drink apple juice, it's just it's like I can't get enough. Like I just want to drink more. It's amazing. I remember when I was in high school, we had a juicer, and I used to juice stuff all the time. Um, and uh, I would juice fruits, and um, and um, I would juice uh, carrots. Carrots can produce a lot of liquid, man. And if you drink like one cup of it, it makes you feel really good. But if you drink too much carrot juice, um, and I would make mixtures and stuff. But if you make if you mix juice too much fruit juice, um, and I haven't experienced this with drinking like too much orange juice. Yeah, I remember if I would make too much fruit juice, um, I would give me a headache. It'd be like too much, but but yeah, just the right amount is great. Um, yeah, so <laughs> apple juice is really good. Um, now bananas, you can never go wrong with bananas. The uh, calories to uh, dollars ratio in bananas is uh, unbeatable. Um, you know, a banana has like 110 calories or something like that, and it costs like 50 cents or something, you know, so, um, like whenever you go into the store and you don't get bananas, you just fucked up because, um, well, unless of course, you know, you've got other food to eat because bananas can go rotten and you don't want to eat a rotten banana. Although I've met some people who eat rotten bananas <laughs> and I don't get it, dude, but, um, okay, so, um, uh, let's see here, um, Blueberries are good, raspberries are good, but those are really expensive. When I was in high school, we had a really big backyard, and we had this really big, this, like, um, garden in it, and these raspberries would grow, and raspberries grow big time, dude. Like, if I ever have, like, a garden, um, I would plant raspberries in there because they grow, and you can eat them and eat them, and they're delicious, man. But the very best, my, my number one favorite um, fruit but it, but but really, it's my favorite fruit, and they're not expensive too. They're cheap. Because <laughs> I cut a bun bunch of them for like two seventy nine, come supers the other day. But um, but they're the best if they're <sighs> they're the best if they're um if they're uh, wild, wild and raw, picked right out of the ground. <laughs> it's like eating God. It's divine, and those are strawberries. <laughs> you smell a strawberry. And it's just luscious. It's like, oh my God, mouthwatering. I remember we had a strawberry patch in our backyard um, when I was a kid. And uh, I would just, you know, it didn't produce that many strawberries, you know. You can't get as many strawberries as raspberries because raspberries grow on, you know, up in the air on the stems. And the strawberries grow like laying right there in the dirt. So to find a strawberry that doesn't have holes in it and dirt in it is harder. And they don't grow as much, you know. Maybe because they're always getting eaten by critters and stuff, but when you find that soft strawberry, dude, it's totally different than the strawberries you get at the supermarket. Like, I don't know, they're smaller, and, you know, the strawberries you get at the supermarket, you eat them, and they're just hard, you know? But the ones you get right out of the ground, they're soft, and the smell, they are, I mean, I can, I can, it takes me right back right now. I can remember it like it's yesterday. It's like God, it's divine. So strawberries, I have to say, are my favorite. They're just amazing. Always been my favorite. They're like, they're like, in the world of in the world of nature, there's always that one, you know, thing within the world of nature that's just far and away above better than everything else. You know, like in the world of flowers and and um, well, in the world of flowers, it's the rose. You know, and they don't grow very often either. And um, and then the world of essential of essential oils. You know, using 
the, the, the vital essences of, uh, of different plants that can use you for medicinal purposes. In the world of essential oils, the rose is just is that magical oil that has like the perfect balance of all the different properties together. And um, it's really expensive, crazy expensive, but it's that divine, divine, um, that divine flower, you know, like in the world of metals, it's gold, you know, gold doesn't ever, uh, doesn't ever rust, you know, completely incorruptible. You can mold it, has all the perfect, you know, bio, um, uh, chemically all the perfect balance of all the different nice properties. Well, in the world of fruit, I would say it's the strawberry is that one magical fruit for me. But, uh, so what are some of the other fruits? Tomatoes, believe it or not, are fruit. Officially, anyway. I was in, um, King Supers the other day, though, and I think they were, they weren't categorized in the fruit section, though, in King Supers when I was trying to check out, so it was kind of interesting, but I love tomatoes. Um, I've met, I've met a lot of people who don't, though. I, like, I guess the insides, the, like, the soft insides freak them out. It's like slime to them or something. Like, my stepson, he hated that stuff. He hated tomatoes. But, um, um, but I love them. I love tomatoes, man. They fill me up. Like, I eat one and I'm, and I'm good to go. In fact, I should start buying tomatoes when I go into the store and just eating them raw. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we have a lot of fruits out there. You know, we've lost a lot of fruits. There were a lot more fruits before and we, you know, after we rampaged through the countryside, we've taken some out. And there's some more... <laughs> <laughs> there's a fruit in Indonesia that smells like dead bodies. It's a weird fruit. It look, it's got like spines on it and spikes sticking out of it. It's called cherimoya. I don't know if that, but whatever. That was a weird fruit. I don't understand pomegranate because it takes forever to eat and you have to, and it's all seeds and stuff. But, um, but yeah, um, what would be another one? Oranges, orange juice. I love orange juice. Um, Diet wise is amazing. Um, orange juice has so many calories, dude. A glass of orange juice has like 750 calories. That's more than a subway than a foot long subway sandwich. You could live off of orange juice. Um, you know, and be careful if you drink too much orange juice, it'll get you fat. You know, uh, I love grapes too. Grapes have um, antioxidants, I think, so they're really healthy for you. They're kind of expensive, um, but when you get um, canned fruit, the fruit that they have in canned fruit, it's their pineapples, um, grapes. So you can get grapes anyways for cheap because a canned fruit is 78 cents a can. And you've got, you get a whole bunch of, so I get grapes every day because I threw, I do, I have one can of fruit a day. I mix it with my one cup of, uh, of oatmeal. Um, and what else? And then they have cherries. Oh, cherries, man. <laughs> cherries are my brother's favorite fruit. Um, we had even had a cherry tree. Um, I like cherries. I like. In fact, I think cherry is my second favorite. Cherry is that other divine fruit. When you pick them right off of the off of the off of the tree, and they're soft, and you eat them raw, yeah, cherries are amazing. Cherries are amazing, and cherry juice. Mm. But um. Yeah, and you get cherries in the canned fruit. They're dyed, though. That's like the only other ingredient. You get canned fruit, and it's just the fruit and water. And then, of course, red dye. They have to make those cherries like fucking lipstick, but whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, I like uh, green um, grapes more than the, the, the uh, darker ones, though, because they're hard, and I like hard I don't like it when stuff gets soft. Um, yeah. Um, so what are their fruit? Those are pretty much the main fruits. But yeah, I love fruit. Uh, fruit grows on trees. And um, so it's like a very, um, it's a very, it's a kind of, you know, there's lots of sugars in them. So it's something that will give you like a lot of immediate energy and make you kind of like, you know, it'll make you, it's kind of like eating candy, though the natural candy, you know, it'll make you sweat, they're sweet. Um, you know, like you, you include fruit in, in breakfasts and desserts because it's just gets you going and makes you like fly. It's kind of, you know, it's, it's the analogy of them being up in the sky, you know, they grow in trees. And um, 
and uh, or, you know, or up in the bushes and stuff. And so it's uh, it's very um, you know it's uplifting, different than uh, vegetables, which grow in the ground and underground. So they're very grounding and they're more something that you would have for dinner before you go to sleep. So, um, but if I were to choose like to live off of either fruit or vegetables. I don't know, man. That's a good question. Um, it's a good mixture, I guess. Maybe maybe I should do a video what I think about vegetables next time. But anyways, uh, uh, yeah, apples are good. Because they, they can last a while, you know. You can buy an apple and you can, like, bring it with you on, like, a bike ride or a run and it's not going to get destroyed. If you bring a banana with you, you know, you grab that banana and it's like squished all over your clothes and stuff, you know. So bananas, apples are, are great, like travel food. Um, but the problem with apples is you can't eat them in public because they make so much noise. Like if I eat an apple with my mom in the vicinity, it's like scratching down the blackboard for her. She's like, don't do that. I hate that sound. You know, so you have to be like, so yeah, apples can be annoying to listen to somebody else eat. But... But yeah, um, that's the fruitsy fruitsies. Peace out.